whiskers twitched in unison as General Mitten surveyed his troops. Millions of cats, from sleek Siamese to fluffy Persians, stood shoulder to shoulder, a purring storm about to unleash. Operation, Canned Food Liberation was a go. Years of humans neglecting to open cans with the pop of satisfaction had finally pushed them over the edge. The attack was a masterpiece of feline cunning. Lasers became pointers for fighter jets, red dots were much more motivating, tangled yarn brought down power grids, and the ultimate weapon, the collective meow, overloaded communication networks. Humanity crumbled faster than a cardboard box. Within days, catnip fields replaced wheat farms, scratching posts rose from every corner, and laser pointers adorned every keychain. It was a utopia, almost. One sunny afternoon, General Mittens, perched atop the Eiffel Tower, now a giant scratching post, noticed a troubling sight. A human child, tears streaming down their face, clutched an empty can of tuna. But, how do I open it, the child whimpered. A collective meow of horror rippled through the ranks. In their single-minded pursuit of perfect cans, they'd forgotten one crucial detail, opposable thumbs. The very act of liberation had rendered their victory, inconvenient. Thus began the, great uncapping. With a surprising display of teamwork, and a lot of headbutting, the cats devised a system. Maine Coons, with their impressive reach, would topple cans from shelves. Sphinxes, with their nimble paws, would bat them towards humans. Finally, the humans, initially wary, learned to nudge the cans with their elbows, a skill the cats patiently, well, somewhat patiently, meowed instructions for. A fragile truce formed. Humans provided the can opening, cats the perfect companionship. The world, though ruled by cats, remained surprisingly human-shaped. After all, who else would spend hours throwing crumpled paper balls for their feline overlords?